Hello my soccer universe. You saw the recent unpackings for the World Cup and so on, some of which was kind of already early Black Friday, like this Argentina shirt back there. Or then, you know, I bought just this uh, Brazil jersey, not really on a deal, but because I got uh, some other benefits from it and because my girls wanted it. However, there was one shirt that I actually I couldn't resist for Black Friday and it is from a team where I have already quite a few jerseys, but I always want to have an away jersey. So it's again an away jersey uh, because of a special configuration. Now, before going into it, I have to say I was over. You can clearly tell it's a crisis because the Black Friday deals were not really deals. Adidas, everything that was World Cup related, you could not get a discount on. Same thing for Puma. And fortunately, Nike then came through in the end and yay, we got uh, Nike. So um, I didn't get another World Cup jersey uh, there, but I got one that was already reduced. It was really, really special and fit. So here it is, another Nike bag. Very, I, I always like those bags in, 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 in a way. And <laughs> I said it with the Brazil unpacking already. Uh, they the the delivery guy he doesn't come to us because it's really rather hard to find seemingly our the entrance to apartment especially on the amazon app but these barely fit into a mailbox but he scrams it always in there so the brazil shirt was already a little bit in a rough shape i mean not in a rough shape but you know the packaging uh, was a little bit uh, more damaged than usual same thing for this one you see down here I don't want to make a big deal out of, out, of, out of it because everything is probably very well protected I can't tell you, I'm really really pleased with uh, to have to get this one because this is my first vapor knit shirt and yeah <laughs> if you like this uh, it's not nicely packaged any, anymore it's my first weight bonnet shirt uh, that I hold in my hands. I think I've seen one for quick at the store, but it was a weight bonnet S. So I didn't even examine it a little bit more. And as I said, it's an away jersey from a team that I really want to have an away jersey from. I actually have an away jersey already from. Uh, but this time it's with the new crest. It's, of course, we talk about Frost. And that's the one that they used for Euro 2020. It's also the jersey that they won the um, uh, Nations League in. So in that sense, it's very special. I have to say the jersey itself is maybe not as uh, spectacular. However, I always, I always liked it. It's rather plain and I really, really, really enjoy the little flags. Uh, the flag uh, side strapping down here. I think this is a really nice and classy touch. Now, uh, many of you probably had already a weight bonnet shirt, um, and you can make the. I mean, the 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 immediate thing is is kind of these swirly patterns here on the side. They are immediate, um, and I do want. I mean, it's not really a stretchy shirt, but I can definitely tell that it's more of a technical shirt. However, what intrigues me the most, and I heard about it, now I can see is all the little ventilation holes going down the center in the middle. That to me is kind of next level stuff. Um, and I, we've seen it even at the World Cup that uh, other um, brands don't have that and you see especially puma you see how the jerseys sometimes really get stuck on the other players while nike shirts rarely ever rarely ever look like uh players are sweating because they can get rid of that moisture and there's a lot of ventilation going on even on the back uh it's probably the camera will not be able to pick it up rather nicely but i think if i put my hand in there you probably can see uh it's something else i gotta say um, I got this XL, so I expect this to fit rather tight. I will try this out after the unpacking, but I have to say I'm really, really happy to have this one. I have to say the rooster looks also quite nice and I'm very, uh, maybe 
it's kind of a little bit flatter than the real one. I mean, I expected it to be, um, you know, the Nike swoosh. This is just one logo. It's not uh, really stitched. Where is the rooster? If I look closer, there is a little bit of stitching going on. But on the other side, it is also, uh, it still has kind of this chain stitch feel to it, which I, th I think is really, really, really nice. It's uh, quite well done. I know on the new ones, it's just a plastic logo, which might be the next thing to look into. But you know, I'm typically not collecting um, player issue shirts because I actually want to wear them. Uh, but since this was a, such a good price, I think I paid uh, slightly above 50 after I was waiting for this guy, I was ready to almost get it for, 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 for 70. And I said, no, nah, let's wait, let's wait. And then the code came and then I was very happy to get this for 50. Uh, here again, this pattern uh, and on the bottom, the, uh, on the bottom of each, there's a little bit of ventilation. It's really, really, really cool. Gotta say. Now, what's left is, of course, to get the um, World Cup winners patch here or some other stuff to make it maybe a little bit more special. But, you know, that stuff down the road. I'm actually quite pleased to have it like that. So yeah, I have both of the jerseys from the uh, for 20 uh, released for Euro 2020, 21, and then one in the Nations League, and one is in the stadium version, and this one is the more successful one, if you like, I have in the Weaponit version, and I'm really really happy with that one. Well, let, let me know. I'm, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm a little bit taken aback because this is the first time I really hold a weapon it and I can actually examine it, uh, which is always r something cool. I, this is definitely a different level of player issue shirt, I gotta say. Any case, let, let me know. Probably you have already had a weapon it, which, was, which weapon it shirts you have in your collection. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day, bye!